don't forgive me for this trap shit. Sergeant Smack make it backflip. Telly Hank it with the action. With the vital speaking Spanish. Frank Matthews, how I vanish. Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut. Gold BBS is on a beamer. When Fat Cat was tearing queens up. Fall off the prop and not the re up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus. Uptown like I'm Baby Man. Just caught a touchdown from the Bay. Yo, yo. We back. It's your boy pop a lot. Mob ties. We on our way to Headshot City with it. Staten Island. Park Hill. Stapleton. Now, matter of fact, y'all know what? Meet us at 55 Bowen Street. This is going down. Y'all already know what it is. Now. The two guys that we're going to be covering today is going to be a pair of brothers. It's going to be Anthony Nitty Christians and Harvey Black Christians. Now, a little bit about the Christian brothers. Like I said, they resided in the Staten Island section of New York. Shout out to Staten Island. We ain't forget y'all. Matter of fact, y'all hop in the comment box if we got anybody tuned in. Matter of fact, the whole Headshot City, y'all get in the comment box because y'all know how we rocking. Now, yeah, the Christian brothers were set up in Staten Island and actually in the Park Hill Apartments. 55 Bowen Street is going to be the headquarters or the the operations factory where we're going to do a lot of shit for real, for real. Now, before we could get into Christian, the Christians brothers, let's talk about that time that the FBI investigated the Wu-Tang Clan for those two murders in 1999. Now, according to information in the indictment of the Christians, two of the Wu-Tang's rappers were investigated for orient for ordering a pair of revenge killings in the summer of 1999 after two of their relatives were robbed. Now, according to the FBI indictment and informants, it tells them that Riza and Raekwon the chef issued murder contracts on rivals of the Christian brothers, a guy by the name of Jerome Boo Boo Estella and another guy by the name of Corey Shank Bank Broker. Now, the hits were allegedly ordered after Boo Boo Estella allegedly robbed one of uh, Raekwon's or young, his younger brother of a diamond studded chain at the orders of Broker. Now, Broker himself had reportedly robbed Riz's cousin of cash and of jewelry. Now, Boo Boo Estella, who was a 17 year old kid who had re recently returned to the Park Hill neighborhood following a little stint that he did in Juvie. Um, and he was a low-level member of a rival Bloods faction that was led by Corey Shank Bank Broker. Um, and they were rival Bloods to the Christian, to the Christians brothers. And we're going to get into that a little bit deeper. But 17-year-old Boo Boo Estrella ended up being gunned down outside of the Park Hill Projects on July 19th, 1999. Shank Bank Broker, who was 26 at the time of his death, was actually killed three days later on June 22nd, exiting his car in the Stapleton area of Staten Island. Now back to the Christian brothers. According to information, they were said to be members of the Gangster Killer Bloods up until 2009 when the murder of the supposed leader of that GKB faction of the Bloods, Jermaine Big Den Dickerson, they actually switched factions of the gang after that murder, and they moved over to the Valentine's Bloods faction, and that faction of the Bloods was headed by a guy by the name of Anthony N. O. Britt. Now, following the indictment of the Christian brothers, Anthony N. O. Britt would be one of the star witnesses that would testify against the Christian brothers at their federal trial. Now, if we're talking about star witnesses against the Christians brothers, we got to mention Brian Trigger Trev Humphreys, who the FBI labels as the gang's top hitman, and another guy by the name of Paul Unks Ford, 
who they name as the Christian brothers second in command or third in command, being that it was two brothers and their primary supplier. They will also go on to testify against the Christians and give damning evidence against the Wu-Tang Clan. Now, Humphrey and Ford also testified that RZA suck out the help of Nitty Christensen in tracking down and murdering Estrella and Booker. Now, Estrella and Booker, who are already on bad terms with the Christian brothers over a turf dispute, had it in for them. Now, when you put on top of that, that they said RZA put a hit of $30,000 on the two. That was going to be the sale of the deal. And the FBI kind of looked into that. And rumors kind of even began floating around in 2015 that the FBI was thinking about reopening the homicide probes into Diggs and Woods and investigating the possible involvement in the two killings. And Diggs and Woods, that's going to be RZA and that's going to be Raekwon the Chef. Now, back to the Christian Brothers and 55 Bowen Street. It said that they ruled that neighborhood and terrorized it from the early 1990s up into 2011 when they was indicted, them and pretty much most of their lieutenants. But it was incidents where they would go on to try to expand their business. Now, the Christian brothers made 55 Bowen Street their base of operation for most of their reigns, but eventually would expand to 225 Park Hill Avenue. And sometime in the mid-90s, they engaged in a full-blown shootout war to seize control of 260 Park Hill Avenue from another drug dealer, a guy by the name of Keith L.K. Darling. And that's according to authorities. Authorities would say that the gun battles lasted for months and eventually turned Park Hill into a war zone with one of the gun battles on May 26, 1995, ending with the death of John Kennedy III, who authorities said was fighting on the side of the Christian brothers. Now, the Christian brothers and a co-defendant, a guy by the name of Fred Marks, were charged in connection with the killing of Kennedy, but a jury acquitted them in 1997 of those charges. Now, as testimony in the federal trial for the Christian's brothers was starting up, the brother's name would come up in the federal murder trial of another set of brothers, Brian Brawl and David Plot Gill, who were standing trial with another man for a 1999 murder. And at their trial, the, another star witness, Paul Unks Ford or Uncles Ford, would go on to say, how he gave the okay for the Christians to have their hitman smoke the rival dealer. And he would even go into detail saying that he was watching from a taxi and saw all three brothers or all three, I'm sorry, saw all three shoot. That would be Brian Gill saying he used a machine gun, David Gill, who used a nine millimeter handgun, and another guy saying that he used a 38 caliber revolver. So, that was testimony in another federal trial that was not even brought up in the trial of the Christians, but they were referenced in this trial and tied to that murder. Now, at the end of their trial, Anthony Nitty Christians end up getting sentenced to life um, and his older brother, which they were a year apart. I want to say they were 41 and 42 when they were convicted, Anthony being 41 and then Harvey black Christians being 42. He ended up being sentenced to 50 years. Anthony was tied to murders with his set in black or Harvey didn't have any murders. And I guess that was the difference in their sentencing, but they presumably ruled over the entire park Hill apartments for for nearly two decades and that's what they ended up getting sentenced to now y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe bell at the bottom 
for these notifications when this shit is dropping. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Y'all get in the comment box below. Y'all tag me on Instagram. Y'all comment on Instagram. Let me know who I need to cover, where we need to go. And y'all already know what it is. We're going to be back with some more of this real trill spill shit. It's the mob. 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 Ties.